So this is just, <clears throat> excuse me, a quick look at how to use baseline grids in Affinity Publisher. A very useful tool. Do you remember that pleasing feeling of writing on line paper back at school? Publisher's baseline grid function helps you replicate just that, allowing you to space text evenly across your whole document. Baseline grids are super simple to use and instantly make layouts look ultra professional. Let's look at how to activate them and snap text to the grid lines. A baseline grid is a grid of horizontal lines that are evenly spaced across your document. Without the grid visible, it can be tricky to make your text perfectly align across your document, especially in multi-column documents. Now a baseline grid is particularly handy for multi-column or spread-based layouts like magazines, flyers or EPUBs where you have multiple text frames lined up next to each other. Overall, it promotes a more uniform, professional look across your publisher documents. So it's well worth doing. It's especially useful when doing comics so that your text is uniform across all speech bubbles. Look carefully at the text in the speech bubbles below. This is much nicer than just random text splattered across the page. Your eye follows along quite nicely. So let's get started. Before making the baseline grid visible, you can edit its settings by going to View, Baseline Grid Manager and tick Use Baseline Grid and if you like at this stage even tick Show Baseline Grid but you don't have to do that second one and you may or may not see anything yet and we'll come to that in a moment. From here you can adjust where the grid starts on the page from the Relative To menu, you can select whether you'd like the grid to start from the top of the page or the top margin even, and how far apart you want the lines to be spaced. This is measured in points, and you can set this to match your desired leading setting. That's line spacing for those who come from a word background. And that's on the Mac, but it's exactly the same on the PC, the Windows version. Finally, set your display threshold. This is related to the document zoom level. If you don't see the baseline grid immediately, ensure the document's current zoom level exceeds the grid's display threshold. The help file goes into great detail on controlling the baseline grid, so don't forget to use the help menu in Affinity Publisher. It's your friend. With your preferences defined, go to View, Baseline Grid Manager and tick Show Baseline Grid. And if you've got your display threshold set correctly, you will see the lines across the page. And there's the clock dinging. Sorry about that little background noise. The grid will now be visible on all pages of your document. If it doesn't appear initially, you may need to zoom into the page to make it visible. And you know how to do that, I'm sure. So how to snap text to the baseline grid in Affinity Publisher? You open up the paragraph panel and snap text to the grid either place to snap text to the grid either place your type tool cursor into one of the text frames or highlight all the text you'd like to apply the action to. Tick align to baseline grid. All the lines of text will snap into place, aligning perfectly with each other. And that's all there is to it. Just a quick little how-to. I would strongly advise um, putting some multi-column document or a comic or something like that that you're working on into a temporary folder and experiment with it and see what you can do with baseline grids. A very useful tool. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tap the thumbs up for a like. It all helps.